my uh, flat ring. Now I can go for that annoying in the out of the way nut. Okay. okay, I've got the camshaft oil seal retainer, this thing's called. Gave it a um, degrease and um, blast to clean it up. So I need to change the seal. And also this stuff here, it actually needs goop to actually uh, seal properly. So there's actually a little line here. It's got the old goop still in it with a little line. That needs to get a bead of this scoop put in there. And there's also another another line here as well where it needs to be done. So the first thing is to clean off all the old stuff, which doesn't doesn't uh, not too bad. It comes off without too much effort. Just a bit of picking at it, so I'll do that. Um, once that's cleaned up, then we'll get this out and replace it with a new one. screwdriver clean it around under this don't scratch the aluminium I'm going to remove the seal. I'm just going to use a hammer and screwdriver to get it out. But obviously, don't don't hit uh, between the seal and the actual frame on the outside. Uh, just go in between the seal itself. Just work your way around really slowly. Uh, 
bit at a time. As soon as it starts to move. The seal's done. There we go. Done. Nice and easy. Just check sure it's nice, nice and clean inside. Put the new one in. Okay, the new seal. You don't tap it in with a. Don't tap it in with a hammer and screwdriver. So if you push it in pretty snugly, like that. I'm surprised how easy that was to go in. Okay. So now I'm going to install the uh, camshaft oil seal retainer. It's this thing here. Uh, you've got a fair bit of preparation to do before you put it in just to make sure you get it right. There's a, one of the things you have to do is get the seal packing. Uh, I've got the stuff from Toyota. Apparently it's the bee's knees. Everyone says it's really good. Um, not cheap, over 50 bucks pretty much for a tube. But you need to run that the beads of that, which I'll show you before I put in, along this indented line and on this part here along the underside edge of that. Now the rule they say in the instructions is um, cut the tip that you put on uh, about make a two to three mil in diameter and then run that bead where I just showed you. Another thing it says also is you have to fit that uh, fit it in place within five minutes of putting the bead of stuff on. So you need to make sure everything's ready before you do that. So you need to get the nuts, the uh, sorry, the bolts, the seven bolts need to be, use this um, three bond, specifically the 1324, which is a uh, medium strength. Uh, I need to use that on the bottom two or three, the bottom end of the threads, uh, bottom end of the bolts, only about two to three threads on the bottom of the bolt. Uh, and it has to be at a torque setting of 10 newton meters. So I'll cut this tip off, get it ready to go. I'll cut this size, this ready to go. I've got my torque wrench ready, it's set to 10 newton meters. Uh, and everything's cleaned up and ready. So I will just goop it up and get the tips ready and then we'll put it on. Okay, so I've got it on, took me a bit over a minute, so I've got to get my butt into gear and get it on now. That's what we've got. Very tight, really. Ten. And again, 
just do short. There's one little side one here that I didn't think was quite as important as the other one to get in on time, so I'll do that now. So a bit's coming out of the back here on both sides. So I'm going to clean that up while it's still wet. The lump out the back, uh, out the front on the hood. Oh yeah, the air intake. Yeah, looks so nice. That's dry already. Oh no, not too bad. Not too bad. Cool. It's actually cleaned up well. I hoped on the other side now. Okay. Okay, now I fit the tensioner. I've got a new one from Toyota as well. Still got the uh, grenade pin in it, so I'll just fit that. That's a tension of uh, 13 newton meters, that one. Okay. Next, uh, replacing the idle, idle pulley. So I got a new one from Toyota as well. Uh, this comes apart pretty simply. You got to use the old Allen key. Uh, it just slides out. So I'll just put it there. Get the new one. Uh, make sure we're around the right way. Lovely. And the washer. Now this has a tension of 35, 35 newton meters. Um, so when I took it off, it was a bit of a pain because it's an Allen key. But um, what I'll do, well. What I was thinking of doing is I've got a, tw a 10 mil, this is a 10 mil hole, got a 10 mil Allen key. It's a 10. I uh, might um, see if I can find another one, cut it, cut it off. If I have another one, I'll make it shorter, I guess, and then just use it via a socket, put a socket into that, and then I can tension it properly. Until I work out what I'm doing, I'll do this I'll do for now. Nice, okay. Yeah, so I bit the bullet and cut my Allen key in down, uh, just so I can get this done. Um, I cut it down enough. Just, okay. So I tension it to 35 newton meters. There you go, that's pretty much it. Now we'll go the timing pulley. So it's got the bit in there. Line it up. Uh, the nut. Now I uh, did this. I might have seen at the beginning how I got it off. I might have, depends what I do with the video, whether I get rid of that part, but I, uh, I missed the fact that there is a nice 
hex head effectively sitting in this which is designed specifically for taking that off so I'll just get a big spanner put it onto there and then we'll tension it up to the 98 Newton meters that it needs to be a lot easier than just trying to do it with the pull of the belt which I did the first time okay so we'll put this on Now it's a 19mm socket, I don't know why they made it 98, just haven't been playing with this I think, but um, really important this doesn't turn, the, turn this as well because you can potentially risk uh, bottoming out um, valves if you let this thing rotate. So making sure it doesn't go anywhere make sure the button's in, I don't kill it I'll get the other side, I'd like to see what I'm doing goes right Let's make sure it's all lined up still which it is <laughs> right got a new factory OEM timing belt there's two markers on it a marker here and then the marker here, these are meant to line up with the top and the fuel pump. It also comes with a label, so you can chuck on your K's and you stick that on top of the shroud. We'll just put the belt on. Make sure it lines up with that one. Yes, it does. It needs to be on the tight side, it's coming down and around. So. I'm going to put the bottom on first since there's a lip to go over that and not so much here. I'll do it that way. So I get the get it lined up correctly. Should, do you want those? I'll just rotate that a bit. It's not lining up quite. It's definitely on the point down here. Not here, so I'm going to rotate this slightly just so I can grab. Check again, it's definitely lined up down the bottom there and lined up at the top here, those two points. Just show, take it off and show you. So the mark on the belt, and there's a little V in there, lines up with that. And down here, you can get to it, there's the mark. A bit hard to see, can't really give you an angle there. Maybe in this way, you can see that it lines up with that focus that pin that point in there you can just see the move my finger the other way so that looks good so next pull the pin okay so happy with all the alignments down the bottom and up here um, pull the pin and then that will give all the tension Let's see how well that comes out done yep Done, done, done. Awesome.